I've never played Rocket League. I never wanted to. I knew kids played the game because it has a soccer ball and there's toy cars and whatever. But my friend insisted that this game was really mechanical, really technical, such a fun game. I should try it out, whatever. So why the heck not? I slapped down one of the game, started playing it, and it hit me. This game is way harder than I ever thought. And so I streamed 24 hours of Rocket League. From learning the game for the first time to mastering one of the hardest skills in Rocket League that have taken hours. So I wondered, how good can I get in Rocket League with just 24 hours? What the frick am I doing, bro? Oh my god, it's so bad. It's over, it's over. Oh, that was actually sick. That was actually sick. I booted up my Twitch stream and I started my speedrun clock to see how far I would go on my journey. And for step one of learning this game is learning the, the basic controls. Whoa, there's a lot off the bat. This is so weird. And just starting out, I actually enjoyed the response time of the car. Wait, the controls actually feel kind of snappy though. What? I actually like this. But I was so bad, I let the tutorial AI score. This is so weird, dude. And then we just lost off of that. Okay, whatever. Oh, this is so weird. I don't play a racing game. And with 22 seconds left on the clock, I really wanted to start off on a good foot and win the tutorial, but... Damn it, dude. No! Yes. And then while I'm trying to focus and get this dub, Twitch chat is telling me advice. I could boost. Which button is that? And then this happened. No, we're going to lose. We lost the freaking tutorial match. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> we know that it's only up from here. There's only improvement from here. God, that was embarrassing. I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie, dude. Should we just hop into comp? Can we? I must be level 20? Okay, okay. So while I learned the basic controls of my car, I still looked like I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Oh, hell no. So step two was doing the training routines to further master my car control. What is this, aerial? Let's try this, dude. Oh, this is cool. So I just like hit it. God, this is so bad. And then Twitch chat reminded me to boost in order for me to get high up in the air boost hit it okay that's, that's bad oh my this is a way okay this is a way harder than it looked this is way harder than it looks holy heck even though it took me nearly two minutes to do the first goal i felt pretty good come on first goal baby let's go oh sick it puts in different spots and the controls clicked for me i was quickly going through the aerial rookie shots and next thing i knew i finished the whole thing in four minutes so then i made a goal for myself there are three modes to practice air hits ground hits and goalie saves and before i jumped into a real match i told myself i'm gonna complete all three on the rookie difficulty and so the training arc began hop bro this game low-key reminds me of melee it feels really fun actually oh did i hit that yes let's go all right goal time wait why is being goalie like the easiest one how fast is that Pew. easy clap and so we finished all the rookie training drills in only 12 minutes. But then chat mentioned that I didn't do the advanced tutorial. And the only thing I've noticed I learned is if I hold forward and use my double jump, I actually flip forward to get a speed boost. Oh, you get, oh, you get speed when you do that? I didn't know that. And now it was finally time to play against the real people. Uh, I'm gonna do 2v2 because I heard that's like the most popular. So to start off the match, I tried to apply what I just learned. Get it. I learned that in a tutorial. They're gonna push it to me. They're gonna push it in. They're gonna push it in. And then we score. Easy. This match, I constantly had zero boost in the game because I was just so focused on trying to get the ball in the goal. And I was still having fun. Let's go. Let's go. And with a three point lead, we won our first match and instantly got our profile to level up, which uh, we really badly needed in the future. <laughs> And because these are a couple of my first matches, I am paired against some of the worst teammates and playing against some of the worst opponents. Just letting you know. Bug, you are actually griefing! Dude, he was in my way. What the crap? But I couldn't blame Bug. I wasn't the best either. 
Dude, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I scored that somehow. I don't know how I scored that. Wait. Oh, it spun in? Oh, I actually did score that. And it seemed like I was the only one that knew about the boost button. Hitting the ball, too, is super hard. Oh, did I score? <laughs> Wait. Let's go. Their goalie is great, then. Oh, I missed it. Driving backwards. Driving backwards. Oh, that's going to score. That's going to score. <laughs> Let's go, dude. And then me and Bug did one of the coolest things ever. Oh, that's in. That's in, baby. That's in, baby. The Ludwig's Bug combo. Wait, that was actually crazy. Look at that. <laughs> dude, that's actually crazy. And then I realized why I always had no boost. but And it only took me like 54 minutes to finally realize this. Oh, that's pretty much 100. The big the big orbs give like a lot more now that i know how to get full boost in an actual game it allows me to do all the stuff that i was training early on and i'm gonna need it because apparently i was playing against ai the whole time you can tell because ai have zero ping like my opponents here so it was good to know that bug out there is somewhere out in the world as a real person also what are you playing on a potato but it was time to know if those three past wins that i got were a fluke now we're playing against a real people finally but honestly i couldn't tell a difference even though these were real people they still acted like bots come on get in yes but i wasn't perfect either i still was missing open goals such as these big money oh that would have been sick if i hit that oh, nice hit bro Frick, I missed the easiest setup of my life. But then it was weird. I would miss open goals, but then I would accidentally hit this super cool dribble shot. It's over. It's over. Oh, that was actually sick. That was actually sick. GG, bro. GG. Game is easy. And an hour into the game, I was already getting cocky, which uh, was going to bite me back in the future. This game's fun so far. It's fun. I just wish it was a little bit more challenging, but obviously that's going to come with time. No way that's in. That would be crazy if that was... No, that's it now. Oh my... Saved. And then something new happened. Oh, frick. I got exploded? How does that happen? New mechanic alert. New mechanic alert. There is this mechanic called the demolition. When someone runs into an opponent at top speeds, they explode. And this was going to be really important later on. And there was just a ton I was learning. Like, I didn't know you can drive on this. Oh, we're on the ceiling. We're on the ceiling. We're on the ceiling. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, if whoever gets good at wall and ceiling play, like, that's insane. And so far in this point of time, I developed a strong strategy. Just stay back and wait till my opponents push up to the ball, leaving their goal wide open. But later on, that quickly became obsolete. And with my broken strategy, we won our first real player match. Good game, bro. Good game. And so it was day two of the challenge, and I thought to start the day and warm up to try the same training drills, but go to the pro difficulty this time. And it was a lot harder. A lot of the balls were higher up in the air, and the balls were also faster. But eventually, we completed the pro striker drills in eight minutes. But now, what was way harder than the striker drills was doing the aerial pro drills. They were launching these balls super high in the sky. Oh, that was so close, actually. But hey, practice makes perfect, and I just had to grind it out. Oh, that's in. That's in, isn't it? Oh, let's go. And that was the longest drill so far, because that took a total of 14 minutes. And now it was off to do goalie pro. Goalie is easy. <sighs> oh, okay, right when I say that, there's one that goes off the wall. That's still not that bad. And so it took me 25 minutes total to beat pro on all three training drills dude let's go goalie training and you know what that wasn't even that bad so i decided to just you know what do all of them on the hardest difficulty all star and here are some of the best moments heck yeah there we go we getting it we getting it does training have like better like stuff like this so i could just like practice like my I guess like mechanics like this why say 90 what does that mean i literally did all of them so all-star striker took 10 minutes and from here on out it was gonna get ridiculously hard so now we did striker all these we're gonna do goalie and then ariel is gonna be the stupid hard one holy crap what is that okay i take everything i said i take everything i said back dude holy hell Ugh, that's insane i could probably meet it in the air 
Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Some of the balls were really fast. Oh, saved. Let's go. But I was quickly adapting to the speed that they were sending the balls. Dang, okay, we finished it. So now we have the dreaded one that I've been dreading. And this aerial all-star one was just way harder. It would really launch the ball so high that you kind of had to like tell the future where the ball was going to land. Come on, that's that's it, bro. Whew. And then for some reason, it was giving me 80% completion. I don't know why. I didn't really press a button or something. Let me know in the comments. Dang, first try. First try. Okay, why... It did it say 80. And despite that, it took me 27 minutes to complete all three all-star modes. And I felt pretty good. I felt like I was improving a ton for just two hours of gameplay, but I was hungry for more. Knowledge. I was actually having a ton of fun just grinding these goals for some reason, more than actually playing real players in the actual matches. So with all those training missions completed now, I could graduate to the big boys, the player made training packs. These range from stupid easy to some that are nearly impossible to do even for pros. Like how is he even doing that? <laughs> so I looked at this beginner to advanced training pack video and I just started off with the first thing, which was ball carries, which will lay down the foundation in order to level up my skills and to eventually do cool stuff like this. But it definitely was harder than it looked. Why does it put... No, dude, this is hard. I noticed if I was already going top speed with the purple trails following me, I couldn't do anything to influence the ball because the ball was also going at top speed. No, 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 no. Oh, it's still alive. It's still alive. Imagine if I got that. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. How do I spin it? How do I, how do I keep it centered? But the longer you train on something, eventually you'll get it. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. Let's go. Okay, okay. We're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it. And then I realized I've been training for a while and I thought it's time to put this training to practice and play in real actual matches. Honestly, we did the first one really good. So like, honestly, yeah, why? Let's just play games. And of course, everyone is bad still and my teammate is about to score on our goal. Dude, he's gonna score it. He's gonna score in their goal. Like seriously, what is my teammate doing here? He's like bumping into me. Grass, my man. What are you doing? What are you doing, brother? And then Grass left, and an AI replaced him. But the caveman AI was actually good. The man's literally 1v2'd some poor kids or something. Even as a teammate, the AI caveman was- <laughs> he was doing stuff. He was, he was putting in work. Oh, I'm on. Oh, there he goes, man. There he goes. Dude, this cave- wait, this AI is actually crazy. This the AI is better than bronze people. And of course, we won that match. And sometimes, I wish I always had AI. This guy doesn't even speak English. You know, uh, Carlos was doing his best. Oh, watch this, watch this. Oh! <laughs> I think he's sorry or something. So, because my training consists of always having boost, so here I couldn't really do anything and I hit Carlos. But you know, that's what he gets. No! Oh, okay, they're coming back. This is scary. And I was starting to blame my teammates too. Dude, what? Did we both die? Carlos, you hit it into our goal, bro! So after a couple dysfunctional points, we got into overtime, so whoever makes the next score wins the whole game. Okay. No! Oh! Oh! So, I tried my best to lock in. Okay, what is Carlos doing? That's my time to shine. That's my time to shine, baby! Let's go! Ugh, that was a really close match. And now, I was facing against stronger opponents each game I was winning. But my teammates stayed bad. Bro, Momoto, you're right there, my guy. Let's see, instant replay. He literally waited. Bronze guys, he literally waited. But even though I had bad teammates, there were so many things I needed to work on. Imagine I knew how to play the game. Dang, what am I doing? Your dribble practice. In? In, baby. No, I literally griefed myself. I griefed myself. Oh my god. Screw myself earlier. Dude, what? Oh. Uh. But as they had a three point lead, I didn't know what to do. Okay, our first actual loss, but I did play so bad there. And so we got our first L.
So I thought, what could I have improved on? I had good power shots, but what was holding me back a lot was I had no idea what I was doing near the wall. So naturally, we had to grind it out. Okay, if I one hit it, it's not that bad. And after going at it for 12 minutes, I was feeling slightly more comfortable. Oh, dude, what if we backboard hit that? Oh my god. That would have been crazy. That is so bad. Oh, 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 oh. Honestly, that would have that went hard if I got that. But if you were watching my stream, you would know I get distracted easily. And I saw this on YouTube. Like, you can't do maps like this. Like, I have to mod the game, right? Because I want to do this. This looks really fun. But I wouldn't be able to set that up until hour 7 of the challenge. So I just went back to 2v2s. And lo and behold, my brain is still not used to not having boost. Oh, Ariel. <laughs> I have no boost. No, dude. Even all that wall practice, I felt like just went out the window. Oh god, what am I doing? Ugh, so bad. But just from doing the basics, we still won and got level 7 on the count. And I was starting to wind down as we were approaching the end of the stream for day 2, and I just enjoyed the game and tried to hit some clips. Woo, saved. Woo, cooking. GG, man. And so came day three, and I actually realized I didn't have a crucial button mapped on my controller. And if I did, it would have allowed me to do so many new tricks and mechanics. And the button is called Air Roll. I can bind Air Roll left and Air Roll right to a button which allows me to adjust in the air for safe landing, for an example. If I normally press left or right, I just spin like a pizza. But with air roll, now I can spin like a hot dog. Why, why am I giving these American others? <laughs> anyway, there's a new mechanic I could do now with this newfound knowledge, the half flip. And initially, if I were to try this without air roll, I would just land on the roof of my car. But now with air roll added, I can do this. And then, oh, I did it. Here's an example at hour 2, minute 37, where I could have half flipped, but instead, I just reversed and then went straight. It takes a lot of time. And with the half flip, I could just change directions in the air. Yeah, there we go. So naturally, with these new controls, I had to do some drills. Ah, uh, this is so weird. Now that I have, like, a new, like, controls, like... It just opens so much. Now with air roll, I could use my belly of my car to have bigger surface area to hit the ball. Woo! There we go, boys. There we go. And with these added controls, I really felt like I was one step closer to mastering my car control. Oh, yes. All right, the, the good old turn the car. Uh. Oh, that worked. And then Twitch chat taught me something pretty cool. When you boost you and hit max speed, you don't have to hold boost anymore. I did not know that, dude. Thanks for the pro tip. And he was really helpful because he also taught me wave dashing. There's wave dashing in this game, guys. Oh, that's wave dashing. Oh, wait. So you're just using your double jump momentum, but you get stopped from the ground. That makes sense. And you can do it sideways. I'm wave dashing sideways now. Wait, this is like actually like melee. <laughs> what the heck? So I queued up for a match, excited to do all the new techniques I learned, right. but this happened. Oh, I'm playing mid game. Okay, we're winning. Wow, boost. Oh, wait, that's not um, stupid. <laughs> Puts me mid game. I don't know what color I am. And then I did my first recorded half flip. Oh, I did the thing. The backwards thing and time to put the wall practice into play oh here is the play of the game damn it yeah that was embarrassing no matter how many times i train and practice these techniques i just can't do it in a match but at least i hit this oh the pass let's go or now law you are a genius bro let's go that felt good. I'm a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Smash Brothers Melee channel that- <laughs> Okay, skip this. Here's the first time I used the tip that chat taught me to stop using boost during top speed. Oh, 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 <laughs> I gotta do more air shots. That was sick. And now I feel like that aerial practice that I've been doing has been paying off. I'm going for it. This is what I practice for, baby. Come on, get in there. What? 
Okay, that counts. <laughs> I was about to say. And man, it was making me mad how many people actually leave in Rocket League. And it sucks because we only have like 30 seconds on the clock too. Oh my god. Dude. And sometimes it's hard Rip. to stay positive, man. Man, that's so whack, bro. So many people leave in this game. I wonder if it's just like kids and stuff that like just leave mid-match. It's so stupid. If once I play ranked, I'll hopefully get less than that. People just play it out. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, it still is going to happen. And then for the second time, I join a game that's already happening. Oh, I'm joining last second. I'm filling some of the shoes right now. And this is probably the most cringe thing I've ever done. <laughs> I feel so in shoes and I run in them, bro. And I was still uncomfortable with the ball directly above me. Dude, how is he? No! Okay, maybe I am on the other team. And then it happened for a third time, dude. What? Bro, every time I join in. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, no, that was good. That was good. That was like a frame one goal. I thought I scored it on myself. I was about to be so mad. Seriously, what's up with teammates at this level? Bro, what are you doing? This guy is griefing me. And I thought of a new strategy where I could just stay really close to the enemy that has the ball. New mistake. Not dribbling it? I'm going to counter play off of that immediately if you're not dribbling the ball. He hits like that, I'm just going to go in. And when I take the ball away from them, I could just juke them. Especially when they overextend away from their goal. Woo. We got him. And the more I won, the more I was starting to pair against people that were just way better than me. Oh god. Oh, that was crazy, dude. Like, how did you make this shot? It was my favorite song in the... That's freaking probably in. Jesus Christ. And with all these goals I'm missing, chat said to try to learn the shadow defense training pack, which was the hardest goalie training I ever done. Why suck shadow defense? So here's a couple clips of me trying out this training. There we go. And if you look at the timer, you'll see that a lot of them took some time to do. Okay, that counts. Oh my god. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yes. I got it. And we completed the whole train pack in nine minutes. Woo, baby. We got them all. And I tried going into the air more just to gain possession of the ball. Nobody, like, flies high for it. Yeah, like but with stronger opponents also comes stronger and better teammates like I got a nice set here Ooh, and man was my teammate cooking. I I think Damn he's cooking now. Let's see him do that You went in the air do you air shoot that or is that the okay? It's in the air. It's in the air up oh. <laughs> Wait the <laughs> I thought that was my teammate. Literally, the opponent did an air aerial in his own goal. And so, day three was coming to an end with the profile at level nine, and we had a 76% win rate. And to start off day four, I finally got custom map mods to work. I like the beach. This is sick, dude. This map is called Speed Rings 2. It's an obstacle course to fly around through these blue rings, and this forces me to make quick turns in the air, perfecting and getting more comfortable with my air car control. And the further I went through the map, the harder it was to maneuver going through the blue rings. Uh, do you know? Oh my god. And the more I had to do drastic, like, turns, the more disoriented I felt, especially when the camera right here would be locked into like the far island and sometimes it would just go to the left. It was weird and I had a ton of fun actually doing this. So I went at it for like an hour straight and this took up the whole stream. I didn't stream that long today. And now it was day five. I started my day off the bat with learning a new mechanic. Now that I'm more comfortable with moving around in the air, I tried to learn this new aerial type mechanic called the air dribble. And in the beginning, I wasn't even pushing the ball toward the goal at first, but I kept grinding it out. And now I got the ball to where I needed it to go, except I was pushing it way too far in the air. Until five minutes into training, I finally got the ball closer to my car and I got this shot. Yes, dude. Oh my god, I actually did it. Holy frick, dude. 
Oh my god, that took so long. And now it's been three hours since I played my last real match. I've been grinding all this time, and now it's time to see if all of that training paid off. And in the beginning, it was going actually pretty well. Alright, that was the longest goal ever. And now with both of us being 1-1, we went into overtime, and this happened. It's pretty good, actually. Ah, uh, dang. That was good set that he did. He managed to hit the ball to bounce off the wall to give him a great self set, which I wanted to do something like that. And so the next game, which was probably the longest game I ever played, we were already three points behind and my teammate leaves the game, but I didn't want to give up yet. I'm here to improve. I try to 1v2, get the ball as close to the goal as possible. Then my new teammate AI scores. The AI, my AI scored for me, dude. AI is a better teammate, confirmed, bro. And then the time with our great AI teammate came to an end, and we got a new teammate called Sir Blanco Pan. But he seems pretty helpful so far. Nice set, dude. But then he succumbed to doing exactly what my last teammate did. My guy's AFK now. What's with people going AFK a lot, dude? You're just standing there. But eventually he came back and we pushed through to tie up the game. Yes, dude. Oh. And now it was overtime and briefly I thought it was over. Damn. Oh, he's cracked. And after Sir Blanco did that sick save, he just stayed at the goal, which made me just 1v2 the whole time. And I really wanted to hit an air dribble shot. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and then two minutes turned into four minutes. Oh, this is so intense, bro. Come on, oh my god. And then it turned into five minutes. And at this point, I was getting really nervous. And now approaching six minutes, I couldn't just score by myself. Until I remember that opponent last match that set the ball for himself to score. And so, I tried it. Oh, yes! Let's go! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. The longest match. Six minutes overtime. I'm gonna kill myself. And this pushed us to level 10, which means we are halfway there to unlocking ranked. And speaking of that, we are roughly getting one level per hour. I need to gain EXP as fast as possible in order to play ranked. I really wanted to stop playing with people that would AFK and leave. And also know just how good I am at the game so far. Like, what rank was I gonna get? Silver, gold, plat? I didn't know yet. And it was gonna be a grind because I only had 14 hours left and I wouldn't want to get ranked with around four hours of gameplay left. So I literally just spammed games like crazy. <laughs> Wait, that was sick, actually. But that doesn't mean I was still figuring out stuff as I spammed games, such as kickoffs. I could just wait and then hit the ball. <laughs> and also, side note, AI really is better than people, dude. Dude, AI is literally better than my teammates. So, I saw an enemy do, like, a double hit once, so that's what I try to do here. Come on, that was so close. I don't know how I missed this air so badly, dude. Frick. Nice work, senor, senor Pato 14. And from all my ball carries and ball dribble practice early on, I was able to hit this clip. Oh, okay. And Twitch chat mentioned to try out the 1v1 format, and this might actually make me get ranked faster. And also just practicing more because I get to have more time on the ball. And at first, it was pretty easy because I didn't have to worry about any other people. I could just carry myself. The first 1v1 game, the guy forfeited. And so it was easy from here. I just queued for another 1v1 match, and I found out this strategy where I could demo so that they can't defend the ball. <laughs> and I just kept practicing weaving in and out because I only had to worry about about one other guy, I could just easily focus on him and the ball and just score that way. Oh, that was sick. I just realized the circles, like there's a smaller circle with under the ball that like expands right when you could time the thing. Here's the first example of me using wave dash in game for me to catch up to the guy. 
And then I got bored of 1v1s because I kept winning, and I don't know why. I just went to 2v2s after that. And man, do I keep messing up my own goal. I'm riding on him. Oh, no, dude, I'm actually grieving. Della's going to go in. You always got to be ready because you never know when the ball's going to be in a favorable situation. Come on, go in, baby. Let's go. And then what am I doing? I went back to 1v1s after that, and I played against this extremely toxic player. No shot, dude, what? So I go and bump this guy, soccer goddess or whatever, and score, and then look what they say. Need trainer, you're trash and reported. <laughs> like, as I'm playing, what is this guy saying, dude? What a joke of a community. <laughs> Bro, I got 13 hours in the game, dog. Relax, relax. Aw. Oh. But this kid was pretty good, though. He was pretty good. Dang, I'm getting whooped on. <sighs> that chatter, he's probably like 10 years old, dude. Uh, someone's gonna watch that kid, man, online. And then I played against this guy that was like the best I've ever played against. He air dribbled it in the air. No way. No way. Bro. <laughs> okay. And then it felt like it hit me. I wasn't really like improving. <sighs> Much trading, not really seeing improvement. I feel like, I feel like it stopped. I'm like stuck. I don't know what I should exactly be focusing on. That's like the thing. And so started day six, and I decided to work on my power shots. And I actually realized something. Yeah, I gotta do it higher, so it's harder to hit. Oh, I just hit it normally, bruh. Earlier, I thought I always had to flip to hit the ball, but sometimes without using a flip, you could just hit the ball with the corner of your car. Oh, I have to jump a little bit? Yeah. And so I just kept training doing the far power shots. And the game I played after training showed that I guess it paid off. Oh, power shot? Let's go! <laughs> That's like my first real power shot. And I continue just trying to hit cool clips while playing 1v1s waiting to get ranked. Oh, that was sick. It hit like my tire twice. Oh, we're almost level 20. We're so close. And here's another demolition clip I did to prevent him from defending. Oh, let's go. I doubt him so he can't get it. Some of these outro scoring effects are out of hand, bro. The guy, wait, the thing dabs at the end? This is stupid. And then I tried something, forfeiting with two minutes still on the clock, and look how much EXP I got. Oh, if I forfeit, I think I get pretty good stuff too, actually, if I forfeit early. So I forfeited again with one minute left on the clock. Yeah, forfeit? Why does forfeiting... Dude, I get more points if I do a couple of scores and forfeit. I found the cheat. And then at 18 hours, we finally could play ranked. My level 20? Let's go! I'm level 20, baby! First ranked game, let's do it. It's time for competitive 2v2, baby. Oh, I have to play 10? So what rank was I gonna get? So I had to play 10 placement matches, and I wasn't looking too well. Okay, that's crazy. That was actually... The opponents were way better at the game compared to normals. No way. No way, bro. Oh my god. What a big difficulty jump in people, dude. So we just decided to forfeit this anyway. They're so good. So I was eager to check their ranking in the results. Unranked. They're, so they're unranked and my teammate was gold. So now it was game two of my ranked games. And for the kickoff, I even realized my enemies weren't even moving. Great. Right, block that. And you can't block. <laughs> and I wasn't paying attention to where the opponents were. Nice. That was a good demo. And then I did it back to him. Let's go. And I was just using bad timings to go for boost, not keeping my eye on the ball. No, that's my fault. And another example of the power shot practice going into work. Oh, big shot, big shot. Oh, he hit it in. And my shadow defense is still not good enough to get this. Dude, how do you, how does, how does you get that in that situation? And then I was ready to hit this double touch clip. Gave up. I was about to get hit a nasty double. Yeah, I don't know why last game those two people forfeited when they had the lead, but I, I guess we take those. I learned that I shouldn't really like rush the ball if we have no time on the clock with a lead. So I just stay as a goalie. 
Oh, that was close. So with four ranked games played, we finally won our first one. <sighs> that was bronze. Okay, that's that's why I was, about, I was about to say, dude. And quickly, I just felt out class. Everyone was doing stuff that I would never hit an actual game. Oh my god, he's crazy! What the fr- And the coolest mechanic that I could do actually in a game was keep doing the ground dribble shots. Come on, get in, baby! Oh, let's go, bro! And this ranked game got pretty close, but I just waited for my teammate to set something. What? Oh, that's so free! Let's go! So we finally got our second win, and I was really hoping that they were a high rank. Bronze silver, that was a bronze and unranked. Uh. But even though I was losing here and there, I still didn't give up. Oh, is that in? Oh, baby! Ooh. Let's go, MVP in a silver lobby? Let's go. And all I was doing was doing dribble shots and power shots. Power shot? Hey, let's go. <sighs> right. And then we won another game with silver three players, and we only had one more game to play until we got our rank. And here's a couple of the shots that we had for this last game we needed. Ooh. And I also had a good teammate this time. Man, he's doing those off the wall hits like so good. And I think my teammate was a lot better than me too. Ooh. Getting hard carry, dude. And then with a five point lead, it was done. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, what do we get? Gold? Do we get. Wait, which gold is that? Gold three. Let's go, dude. That's pretty good, right? And placing in gold was kind of like average. It wasn't really high or low of a rank to go into. And then it was day seven. I wasn't too sure what I should do for training. And for the whole day, I literally just grinded out these custom maps from a range type of like skills. This one was doing like a dribble map, which was really good for training your ground ball control. I even did the speed rings map, but backwards this time. And that felt really weird, but I didn't stick with it for too long because from my research, I found this really cool neon rings map. And I spent like a pretty good time grinding this. This is such a cool map. It looks so sick. Dude, doing this is so fun. It's like therapeutic for me. I don't know why. And I really had to take my time with this one compared to the speed rings map last time. See if you're not going like too fast. Like, bro, oh, I see I didn't plan ahead there. And then when I was just trance from this map, I realized I only had three hours left in the whole challenge. So right now I got to level 17 in like 25 minutes. And then I played this random map I forgot about, but I didn't really feel like this was helpful. And then I played probably the most helpful map. I wish I spent way more hours playing this custom map. And it's really just like an accuracy trainer. Oh, this is sick. And I just kept trying to beat my streaks at the top left and right. It helped me really crack down on accuracy to hit the ball in the corners. And then I ruined my best streak. Oh, we had 14. Sucks. And then I found something that I really wish I had in the beginning. So for some reason in vanilla Rocket League, you have unlimited boost in the training mode and you cannot change this. But if you mod your game, I found the option where you could make it limited. You could make it so you have uh, not unlimited boost. That's such a good mod. Oh my god, I need that. And the sad thing is, I feel like if I knew about this mod, I would have got so much used to not having boost to hit those scores back then. And so Sadly to say, with these new resources at my disposal, it was just too late in the challenge. I only had two hours left, and so I spent all those hours I had left grinding ranked, hoping to get higher than gold 3. And I still failed at all my air dribble oh my attempts God. and goalie saves, even the ones on paper that looked really easy to execute. And then next thing I know it, the challenge was over. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaking bad at this game, I hate- I hate how bad I am, dude. Ugh. So, that was it. No more time left to improve and staying the same rank I placed in. I wasn't happy with my progress. But you know, I thought about my whole experience playing this game. I was frustrated at missing shots, missing saves, missing the ball entirely, and a lot of them I knew I could hit too, but just didn't in the moment. Times I felt like my brain was turned off, making brain-dead decisions. But in the end, 
I had a good time playing Rocket League. And yeah, majority of the players are in Diamond 1, and I only got gold in my ranked placements, but hey, that's okay. Win a game, lose a game. Learn from your previous mistakes so you become a better version of yourself in the future. It's not about how your teammate does or if your opponent is way better than you. It's about improving yourself, and most importantly, having fun. <laughs>